morning today we can discuss one problem in multi view projection the isometric figure is already given this is the figure here we can treat this line this line is isometric x axis this line is isometric y axis and this point as origin this point as origin this particular point as origin that means in orthographic view in orthographic view this point will become this point origin here we must draw the side view that means uh, side view from this uh, right side right side view then front view then top view here this is the space for uh, front view then this is the space for top view and this is the space for right side view right side view okay here this total distance this total distance is equal to 32 16 plus 16 32 here this distance is equal to 8 then total height of the object is equal to 16 plus 8 24 and here total width total width for in front view we can represent this total distance and the total distance is equal to 24 plus 24 this figure is symmetric about the symmetric about this particular x axis then so this total distance is equal to 24 plus 24 plus 8 total distance is equal to uh, 56 56 units okay uh, this is the figure this is the isometric figure okay then first we can draw the front view of the object front view of the object here in front of you in front of you total distance along this axis total distance along this axis is equal to here we can treat this as x axis and this as y axis this as y axis then x is a x is a this is the z axis isometric z axis then x is a plane x is a plane will become the front view x is a plane will become the front view then this one x axis this one z to y dash and this one x y x y line x y line and this is z to y dash and the meeting point is origin then along x axis we can draw 56 mm 56 56 mm along x axis this total distance is equal to 56 then we can draw a cross section line which is at the middle of this x coordinate because the entire entire figure and their object is symmetric about this y axis symmetric about this y axis okay next thing here this height is equal to 8 mm we can draw that height 8 8 unit 8 unit here also we can draw that 8 unit 8 unit then next step in front of you we can see this this particular edge this particular edge is visible in front of you we can uh, see that that particular edge this particular edge and here also we can see that vertical edge in front of you and that is at a distance of 12 mm 12 mm away from the outermost edge 12 mm away from the outermost edge so that we can represent that that edge here and here also here and here then we can draw the this surface the surface which is at a 8 8 unit above the ground plane about the x y plane we can draw that line here here also then 
from this line or the line which is uh, divide this entire front view into two halves we can draw this that uh, pillar this pillar this pillar having height 16 mm 16 mm and width is equal to 8 mm 8 mm or 8 units 16 mm height then let's see 8 in 4 4 and side like 4 4 you see here next 16 16 mm height 16 mm height 16 mm height then connect it then connect it then then we can see we can see this line also this line also this part this edge also in front of you so that we can connect this all this we can draw a straight line up to this point from this point to this point okay this will become the front view of the object again again one more one more thing is there again this this vertical edge and this vertical edge again this vertical edge and this vertical edge both are visible in front of you that is at a total width is equal to 20 mm then at the midpoint uh, 10 mm this vertical edge is 10 mm away from the midpoint and this vertical edge also 10 mm away from the midpoint so that we can represent that vertical edge is from this point 10 mm away from this midpoint here also this point and this point total width is equal to 8 mm okay this will be the front view this will be the front view next we can draw the top of you in top of you in top of you this total width is equal to 56 and this total width is equal to 32 this total width is equal to 32 and so that we can project this uh, 56 mm total 56 and we can start we can draw a rectangle A rectangle with that width is equal to width is equal to thirty two mm. Width is equal to thirty two mm. And use very thin lines for drawing construction lines. The next thing in top of you, in top of you again, in top of you, in top of you, we must see this this part and this part in top of you here. Uh, there must be a rectangle here rectangle here with the width is equal to 8 mm width 8 mm width 8 mm then length 14 mm length 14 mm length 14 mm first rectangle first rectangle so the one next to the other rectangle here rectangle would be visible in top of you that uh, length is equal to 24 again uh, 24 le right angle total width is equal to 32 this total length is equal to 24 mm 24 mm okay next here 16 mm 16 mm 16 mm le or point then uh, up the distance 12 mm 12 mm here also uh, this distance is equal to 16 mm then 12 mm 12 mm le up to up to this point this even we project here that here point here here vertical edge will be the distance next step uh, here point here vertical edge project here again here vertical edge project here we can connect this one and this one also this one also okay this will be the top of view this will be the top of view next step right side view here use h thick pencils thick lines to draw the draw the outermost 
outermost edges outermost edges or visible edges we must draw with thick lines we must draw that visible edges with thick lines okay and finally a right side view in right side view again uh, we can transfer this distance this distance from here to here and this we can do this distance to from this point to here again we can transfer transfer this distance from this point to this point the sadhi kanda the idu radius aanu idana point ee oru distance rotate kiya ee oru distance rotate kiya ee oru distance rotate kiya and then we side view construct kiya okay here total height total height of the object is equal to from the total height is equal to സർഫസ് 24 ഫോർ എം എം വിത്ത് ഈ ഒരു സർഫസ്ന് രണ്ട് മണി നമുക്ക് ഇവിടുന്ന് ഇവിടുന്ന് റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്തെടുക്കാം ഇതും അതേപോലെ റൊട്ടേറ്റ് ചെയ്തെടുക്കാം ഓക്കെ അപ്പൊ ഈ ട്വന്റി ഫോർ എം എം ഇവിടെ കിട്ടും ഈ ഫോർട്ടീൻ എം എം ഈ ഇവിടെ നിന്ന് ഇവിടെ വരുന്ന ഡിസ്റ്റൻസ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ആണ് ആ ഫോർട്ടീൻ എം എം ഈ ടോപ്പ് ഫേസിൽ വെച്ചു ഓക്കെ വി ക്യാൻ we can connect these two points and complete that that edges okay next day, finally this height is equal to this height is equal to 8 mm again this height is equal to 8 mm then we can connect this lines these two points and complete this right side view right side view of the objective here front view must be in front view must be in thick lines front view must be in also in thick lines this lens must be in thick lines visible edges must be in thick lines Okay. This will be the okay. Any anyway, very vertical edge. What is side view? Now the ear edge. The vertical edge is visible. Now the ear vertical edge is visible. Now our edge body. Now we represent it. Now our vertical edge. The ear the ear portion. Now the ear edge. The ear edge. Now is sixteen mm. Sixteen mm. Exact mid point. Now we are now the mid point. Now our edge body. Now we are represent it. Our edge body. ഇതും കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം കംപ്ലീറ്റ് തിക്ക് ലൈൻസ് ആണ് വിസിബിൾ ആകുന്ന പോർഷൻ ആണ് ഓക്കെ ഫൈനൽ ആയിട്ട് ആൻസർ ഫൈനൽ ആൻസർ വിൽ ബി ലൈക്ക് ദിസ് വൺ ഓക്കെ അതിൻ്റെ ഡയമെൻഷനും കൂടി എക്സാക്ട് ഡയമെൻഷനും കൂടി നമുക്ക് കംപ്ലീറ്റ് ചെയ്യണം അതിന് ശേഷം ഈ നെക്സ്റ്റ് പ്രോബ്ലത്തിലേക്ക് പോകാം ഓക്കെ താങ്ക് യു താങ്ക് യു ഓൾ